we don't have any experience with radio oscillators or oscillators at all. This is the circuit that has always success. You need a transistor, however, that amplifies very well. Let's say uh, from 70 up to 150. The current amplification, the beta or HFA. I've drawn it here completely out. So it's very simple to understand. And here you see the electronic circuit um, through the collector lead, the current starts to flow, and a part of the signal is coupled back in the right phase to the base. And with this 10k potentiometer, you set the working point where it all works. And this resistor prevents the transistor uh, from being damaged. When you put the resistor here to the highest point. Uh, here you see how I've made it in real. It works with all kinds of coils. Uh, with this coil for instance it works on 10 megahertz. Wind the coils together on one form two wires together on one form and here I've made it with an old transformer primary is 24 volts secondary is 230 volts and this is the waveform this is a quite good waveform and the reason is that here in the circuit there is a capacitor so for lower frequencies to get a proper waveform you need a capacitor from the uh, base to the collector. It damps out all the extreme voltages that are generated in the coil. So when I remove that capacitor here, now I've removed it and here you see what happens to the waveform. It has a lot of peaks. In fact, the transistor here, or sorry, the transformer here is kicked into an oscillation, oscillates out, and then starts anew. So, a completely different waveform. When you don't use this capacitor here on lower frequencies. But on higher frequencies, with this coil or any other coil, this one for instance, it generates a quite good waveform. And you can set that waveform to a proper, uh, to the proper waveform by means of this potentiometer here. So. It's a very good beginner circuit. It always works. As long as you use a good quality transistor with a good uh, current amplification. An ideal circuit to do experiments with.